Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. We've been studying, we've been journeying this uh, whole week and we've been looking at uh, loving God and the different, uh, different things uh, and the different practical insights we've been looking at by which we can love God, by which we can express our love for God. And today we are looking at uh, another aspect which is to love God is to hate evil. Uh, when we look at Psalm 97 and verse 10, and this is how it reads, You who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. I just want to draw our attention to that first part of that verse. It says, You who love the Lord hate evil. Uh, hate is a very strong word. It means intense dislike. And uh, it, it means also to consider someone as a foe, as an enemy. To hate is to dislike intensely. And uh, evil is wickedness and uh, morally corrupt, anything that is morally corrupt or morally bad. So when we say that we love God, automatically it means that we need to demonstrate in our behavior by hating evil, right? And uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 9 also says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. So in hating evil, I need to dislike everything that has the appearance of evil and also distance myself from it. We need to note that uh, we need to dislike the evil deed or the sin and not the evil doer. Because God loved us despite us being sinners. God loves the sinner and but then he hates sin. So we need to love uh, others and when, when we demonstrate our love for God, we need to hate evil, uh, which means we do not tolerate evil in our own lives first and foremost. Uh, 1 John chapter 2 and verses 15 to 17 talks about not loving the world. And it also describes that three things which are in the world, which is lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Lust of the flesh, ungodly, sensual appetites of the body. Lust of the eyes, craving of the eye, to covet, to lust, to be envious of. And pride of life, being arrogant, being boastful, and uh, because of power, because of wealth, because of position. So if we tolerate these in our own lives, that means the love of God is not in us. If we love this, if we tolerate this, that means we are not actually loving God. Because to love God is to hate evil. To love God is to not love the world system, the world's values, and these things specifically. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So today, if we have these in our lives, we cannot esteem God. We cannot love God. We cannot esteem the things that God loves. We cannot look at the way God looks at things and we cannot esteem it the way God esteems. So um, today as we pray, we can say, Lord, you know, we have become desensitized to evil because it's all around us. We see so much in culture, we see so much and we become desensitized. So let's ask the Holy Spirit to make us sensitive again. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to, um, to help us, to teach us to hate the evil deed and not the evil doer. Let's ask Him. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank You, Lord. We thank You for this verse. We thank You for opening our eyes to the scripture that to love You is to hate evil. Lord, we ask that You would make our spirits sensitive, Lord, to what we see around us and make our spirit especially sensitive and discern what is evil and to distance ourselves and to dislike that intensely, God, because that is how you see it, Lord. And also, Lord, we pray that you'd give us a discernment to, um, to, to love the sinner or the evildoer, but to hate the, the sin itself. Lord, we pray that you will teach us, you will show us, you will empower us in this area. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.